And so as an ecosystem, I think we should all be focused on getting really, really good at very narrow parts of the stack, making them as best they can, and then outsourcing the rest because vertically integrating and creating something that's like half as good is not really going to get as far. And it also is very anti-collaborative. And this is a lifelong passion of mine, this idea of uh, like tiny things that do th things well, because I grew up as a Linux nerd. Um, but one of the lessons that you learn from Unix is you don't just have tiny things that do things well, but you have a system in which they can communicate and there's like expected behavior. Uh, and you know, this, to your point, Molly, about standards, you need to develop them. I don't think we need to anymore think about developing standards and standard spotting them. Maybe there's probably some cases where you need to, but here's how you create standards. You have agents creating a bunch of code and it becomes used, so it becomes de facto, right? So like one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot, like, you know, code generation, because I'm a developer, is um, the reason that the LLMs are good at developing code right now is because there's so much code that already works, and it's already in production, it's already documented. And so you're not actually creating code, you're compiling to frameworks and, and the existing libraries. And, and I, I wonder, like, maybe in this broader idea, shouldn't we just be like really focusing on more of those hardened things, not standards, but just like, this is the code that exists. We can use agents that are really specialized to either create that code. And then all code generation is just targeting this higher and higher level of abstraction. 